With the current pandemic, there has been a global renewal of interest in this time-tested science which aims at correcting imbalance by getting to the root of the problem. It harnesses the innate strength of the individual to create balance. It also appreciates the constitutional differences in individuals and offers an individualistic approach to treatment. In this introductory course on Ayurveda, we will look at the basic understanding of health and disease, the concept of Agni and Aam, Prakriti, diet and lifestyle, Dincharya, the daily routine, Ritucharya, the seasonal routine, kitchen as dispensary, some common health myths, Panchakarma, women's health and a few recipes. Now this is what happens when our digestion is good. So each of these seven tissues are formed sequentially. But what if the digestion is faulty? Then this is what happens. This is a colonoscopic image. And you see here, this is a healthy individual and you see the colon, you can see the healthy mucosa lining. This is a patient with headache and chronic fatigue syndrome. So you see here the sticky substance which is lining the mucosal lining. This is arm or these are the toxins that are produced because of poor digestion. Just like when the food does not cook in the pot, it sits there and rots. So the food, <clears throat> the rice which cooks maybe in 40 minutes, if the flame is not adequate, Say you have a very tiny flame like that of a candle underneath. It's not going to cook. So the food just sits there and in the pot. And after two hours, four hours, six hours, the food is still not cooked. So what happens after 24 hours, the food starts to rot. So there's fermentation, there's gas production, there's acid production. And it becomes a very good breeding medium for all kinds of bacteria, viruses, fungi, and so on. So in the same way, the food that is not digested by our body sits there and rots and ferments and forms a toxic substance, which in Ayurvedic language is called arm. And so this image here, this yellow sticky substance that you see is arm. So, um, the, we will see in subsequent images in different conditions that the presentation of arm varies. For example, this is a diabetic person with joint pains. You see here there are parasites because, as I said, the arm is a good breeding medium for all kinds of pathogens. So with the current pandemic, it's good for us to understand that if we have arm or toxins in the body, we are very prone to catching the infection. So sometimes the stool is soft, and uh, but it won't come out. So you go to the toilet, you sit for a while, you have some bowel movement, but then you come back, have a cup of hot water or hot tea or some breakfast and you need to go a second time and maybe another third time. So even though the stool is soft, it is not emptying easily. So there's constipation. As you saw in the colonoscopic images, this arm is sticky. It's heavy and sticky. So it sticks to the lining of the gut and thereby prevents a complete evacuation of the bowel. Often people come with an altered perception of taste and uh, the cause of that is arm. They usually prescribed different mouthwashes, and it doesn't help because the problem is not with the oral hygiene. The problem is with the digestion. And actually this acidic taste or altered taste in the mouth is a manifestation of arm or toxin production. And they usually will have a coated tongue. So in fact, now with the current pandemic of Corona, this altered perception of taste or the failure to perceive taste is one of the symptoms of corona. And in fact, Ayurveda mentions this as a symptom of arm. And so this could be a manifestation of any infection. 
So they could be here first. Body ache. When you wake up in the morning, the body just feels stiff. So your shoulder might feel stiff or you, when you put your foot on the ground, uh, the foot might hurt and you're labeled as plantar fasciitis. You're prescribed different types of shoes, but it just doesn't help. So basically this is a manifestation of arm and uh, it all gets better once you start moving, once you do your yoga routine or once the sun comes out. So basically this arm is toxin and because this is formed because of poor fire or poor digestive fire, uh, as the fire in the body increases, we are able to metabolize this arm and this arm is metabolized or digested and we feel better. So the shoulder pain or the pain in the foot gets better after you exercise. Similarly, there could be allergic symptoms. So they could be sneezing as you wake up, the nose feels stuffy. Again, as you go about doing your routine, as the sun comes out bright, the nose clears up and everything is fine. 